Some of the grade 7 to 12 students of Lake Christian Academy took part in the global climate strike event at the school yesterday. They were involved in some art programs on the basic of climate change and the effects and its solutions to minimize global warming. Yes. Okay, then you're come here. The program was facilitated by Deborah Alois, a climate change activist and a former student of the school. We talk about the effect of climate change, which is the burning of fossil fuels, right? And we need to transition as a country to as 100% renewable energy. So that's what we're going through with these students at the moment, and then mobilizing them through an art build with their uh, coloring posters, coloring flyers, and absorbing the message in and thinking about um, how we as a country can move towards that 100% renewable future. The September 2019 climate strikes, a series of international strikes and protests, to demand action be taken by authorities and responsible leaders to address climate change. The event is a part of the school strike for climate movement, inspired by 16-year-old Swedish climate activist Greta Thunberg. The students of Lake Christian Academy took time off their normal classes yesterday to participate in the global climate strike. For our generation, it's very important that everyone knows that um, um, climate change is happening and it's real. Renewable energy, it reminds us to get energy from the sun, wind and water. It helps the environment and shows that you can be happy. Specifically, sun is solar energy, wind is kinetic energy and water is hydro energy. It can use other resources besides fossil fuels like the wind, water and sun. We can stop fossil fuels to renewable energies to reduce carbon dioxide in our atmosphere which can lead to global warming. Climate change education, climate science must be taught in schools. I believe it is taught but at a level where students can understand it easily and can share with other people. Because we're not, we're, we're a country that's being deeply affected by climate change. Papua New Guinea, the Carteret Islands, um, the people of the Carteret Islands are the first climate change refugees in the world. So the poster we're doing is about, I mean, it's a fire extinguisher and it resembles um, putting a fire. So basically it means that like, the earth is on fire and we need to put it out by um, stop the burning of fossil fuels and coils and start using renewable energy. A grade 8 student, Joanne Mann, who also participated in the strike, has called on the national government, Morbe Provincial Government and the Lay City Authority to stop the coal-fired power project that will be built in Lay. Coal is not the answer for PNG. The coal plant that is about to be built in Lay should be stopped because it will be contributing to the climate change that is already affecting us. Julie Badui Owa, National MTV News, Lay.